Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing our extracurricular curriculum picks for next year. Uh, this is a collaboration hosted by myself and Devine over at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool, so I'm going to link her channel in the playlist down below. Make sure that you check it out when you are done with this video. Um, so to start, one of our group subjects is usually, most of the time, all the time, Bible study. But next year, my kids are going to be doing those separately. Um, at least that's the plan. If it doesn't work out, then we'll change the plan and just figure it out. <laughs> so for my first grader, she is going to be doing more than words. We absolutely love this curriculum. I am so excited she's going to be learning God's word through it next year. And I just can't wait to see how she grows. If... um. You guys want to see a flip through of it I have a whole video on that I'll link it up here for level one and then my son who is going to be going into fifth grade is going to be using their level two now I purchased this and tried to use it when he was in third grade but it was a little too much for me because it was constantly like go outside and do this so uh, we took a break from it because it was a lot and this is designated I think from 4th to 6th grade or 4th to 7th grade and I didn't know that at the time of purchasing so if you are looking at this and did not know that either then this is your warning because I thought once you finish level 1 you just move on to level 2 and you live your life but apparently it's not like that so they do have grades specified on these um, just wanted to throw that out there in case any of you get excited about Jesus and just go buying things <laughs> without truly reading them. Uh, I do that sometimes. So this is what we are going to be using. I'm so excited for him because he loved their level one. And I, I just can't wait to see how he grows as well. And I do have a full flip through on that one in case you want to see it. I will link it up here. And I will also try to remember to link them down below in case you guys want to check those out. Now... Uh, last year for our extracurriculars, I had every single intention of using um, Song School Spanish, but this year with the loss that we suffered at the beginning of the year, Spanish was the last thing on my mind and I had like zero desire to do anything other than what uh, we were required to do just for my kids to learn and from the state. So this year we are going to be attempting Spanish. However, we are going to be changing it. So our primary Spanish curriculum, I have not purchased yet. I'm going to be purchasing it, I believe, next month. But I'm so excited for it. It is Masterbooks Academy Spanish. That looks so fun. We love Masterbooks. Um, and I can't wait to use that because it's also done through video. So you can just throw it on the TV. Your kids are learning it from someone else who actually knows how to pronounce all of the words and then they have activities that you can print off and do together as a family and I am so excited for that. And with that we are going to be pairing it with um, Simply Charlotte Mason's Spanish curriculum. When I was looking for our history curriculum on their website I saw that they happen to have a Spanish curriculum as well and so I figured you know what we're just gonna roll the dice and see how it works with adding this in and if it benefits us and if it brings in um, some just like additional practice so I'm really excited about that because it's only this book and then I believe you get some uh, audio files I have not downloaded those yet but it says um, like little phrases and then it gives you like the verbs and things like that and then questions and then it says it in Spanish on the second page so you get quite a bit of information just on two pages in that book uh, the next one is going to be our art studies. Again, those are going to be from Simply Charlotte Mason. And I'll link these things down below in the description bar in case you guys want to check them out. But we are going to be doing a picture study on Monet. And it's filled with a ton of pictures in here and I'm so excited for it. And then we're going to be doing one on Van Gogh. And then one on Michelangelo. And I picked these in no particular order, just more so what I thought would be fun for my kids. But um, they have beautiful photos inside, and so I thought that this would be such a fun way to uh, learn art for them and 
you know, tie certain pictures to certain artists. And this is really an area that we kind of failed at this year. I mean, you don't fail as homeschoolers, but you guys know what I mean. Like, it's just an area that we could work on and do more of this year. And so I thought that this would be really cool. And the, these are laminated, so they're thicker. So if you have a toddler, I mean, I'm not going to promise that it's going to completely withstand the toddler, but it'll at least withstand your toddler a little bit. I always test things against will this withstand my toddler's abuse to it because you know you have to <laughs> and then it gives you a little uh, booklet about the pictures and you know just how to approach the study and things like that so if you guys want to see inside let me know I will try to do um, flip throughs of them just so then if you're interested in checking out one of these art studies you know exactly what you're getting and what it's going to expect from you and what it will teach your children but I thought that these looked really fun so I figured let's try a few and see how it goes they also have some wonderful books on Amazon from DK of all publishers that I just ordered that will go with a few of these. So they have The Met, um, Van Gogh, and we actually already have that book. I should have brought it up, but it, I think, will pair beautifully with this because it talks about his life. It shows the pictures that he created, um, why he created them, and just gives them a little bit of extra information. And then they have another one on Monet, I believe. I just ordered one on Monet and then um, um, Georgina, I forgot her whole name. So we are going to be getting those and pairing them with the art studies that we can. All right, now to go along with our Bible curriculum, we are going to be using the My God Says Truth cards from Not Consumed. They have a version for girls and another version for boys. And they look like this. They come with a little wooden um, placeholder. And then it's a little index card that will give you Bible scriptures to memorize. So we are going to be working on not just our Bible curriculum, but actually memorizing scripture next year. And I'm really, really excited for that because my kids and I constantly talk about how the world is going to lie to us. And it's all that more important to memorize scripture so we know what the truth is even when we're doubtful. Now the very last thing that we're going to be using and I'm really really excited for this is the fallacy detective. It's to teach the kids critical thinking to recognize lies and understand how to basically overcome them and just developing that ability to debate somebody when they feel like they're being lied to or not told the truth and I really I mean with just the way the world is going you guys like you have to instill critical thinking in your children because like I said the world is going to lie to them and so one of the things that I think is going to be really fun about this book is it gives you an a lesson and it does say that this is, I think, geared towards like 12 years old and up, but I feel like I can coordinate it a little bit to be more age appropriate for my children and give them different examples and things like that. But it will give you an example of what a fallacy looks like and what, um, just like an example of what someone might say. And then it will give you exercises on what is your stance? How are you going to approach this? What are you going to say in response when somebody says X, Y, or Z? So I think that this will be really fun and it will just get their kind of like gears going where they can learn to recognize a lie and not just recognize it, but how to defend the truth. So in conjunction with that, we will be using subscription boxes and things like that. Um, I found some that I'm really excited about. We uh, just placed an order for education, which is like a zoo education <laughs> which is like a zoo box that gives you like a little stuffed animal and all the information on that animal and I think it's going to be a really fun way to learn about you know different types of animals because my daughter just she loves all things nature and she just wants to learn about every different species she comes across and then another fun one that I found recently what is hands-on history and I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I think that's going to be perfect to add into our history curriculum next year to make it fun 
and just re-solidify everything that we're learning. So that is it for everything that we are using for our extracurriculars. If you want to check out any of the other videos for what we're using for language arts or math or our group subjects, I will link those videos down below and in a playlist up here. Uh, don't forget to check out the playlist of all the mamas who joined in today and see what they're gonna be using for their extracurriculars. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you again later. Bye.